Hello everybody, today we're going to talk about the distance formula and how you use it to find the distance between two points. So let's say you have a point A here and a point B here. And somebody out there is like, yeah, find me the length of the line that connects points A and B. How do we do that? They're also probably going to tell you the coordinates of these points. Let's say this is 1, 1. And for ease, let's say that this one is 4, 5. Okay, so this is all the information they give you. And they say, find me the distance between these two points. Now, this is actually a pretty easy thing to do. They might have also told you about the distance formula, which looks like this. The distance from A to B is equal to x2 minus x1 absolute value squared plus y2 minus y1 absolute value squared and you take the square root of the whole thing. So don't let all these x's and y's in this formula scare you. Um, it's really just a manipulation of your old friend the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, you might remember that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, that guy's friendly, right? That one's easy. Um, you remember that? It comes from this. You have a right triangle. You have a side a, you have a side b, and a side c. And all this is saying is that if you square the length of this side and you square the length of this side, and you take the square root, it's going to give you the length of side c here. Now, this hypotenuse, the length of side c, is basically what they're trying to ask you to find when they tell you to look at these two points, A and B. Let's just go ahead and fill in where the rest of the triangle would be. Okay, so just like in the other picture, this is side A, this is side B, or little a, the length of this side squared times the length of this side squared is going to equal the length of this side squared. So somebody went and made some formula, this one, this one, which they manipulated from this formula in order to help you uh, plug in the values of the coordinates for points A and B. So they want you to just plug in these values into this formula and find the length. But if that's all you're trying to do, you're not really going to understand. So the idea is to understand that basically this is just the Pythagorean theorem and you're making an imaginary right triangle where the distance between the two points is the hypotenuse of that triangle. And then with this formula, you're basically finding the length of the legs in order to find the length of the hypotenuse. So from the other graph, it's like this was point A and this was capital A, and this is point capital B, not to be confused with little a and little b. The coordinates of that point were 1, 1, and the coordinates of that point were 4 and 5. And we can take these values, stick them into here to find what this value would be. So in order to do that, and to better understand how this is working, let's go ahead and take a look back at our graph over here. If this is 1, 1, and this is 4, 5, and if we want to fill in this triangle, what would this point right here be? If this is 1, actually let me draw it in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I know these things aren't equally spaced out, but let's just pretend. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. And we know it's 4 because it's directly below this point right here, which is also 4. And then it's directly to the right of 1 and in line here. So we know that the coordinates of this point are 4, 1. So if you want to know the length of this leg right here, 4 minus 1 is 3. If you want to know the length of this leg right here, 5 minus 1 is 4. So now, if we use this and Pythagorean theorem, we're basically saying that 3 squared plus 4 squared is going to be equal to c squared, right? 
So 9 plus 16 is equal to c squared. 25 is equal to c squared. So c is equal to 5. Okay, so what we're saying is that this distance between point A and B is 5, according to Pythagorean theorem. Now, let's use the x values and see if we get the same thing. All right, so point A was 1, 1, right? And this is x1, this is y1. Point B was 4, 5, and this is x2, and this is y2, right? So remembering this formula, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So x2 minus x1, actually I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite it again. Distance from A to B is equal to x2 minus x1 squared, absolute value, plus y2 minus y1 squared, square root. Okay, so now let's fill this in. x2, 4. x1, is 1, absolute value squared, plus y2 is 5, y1 is 1, squared, okay? So 4 minus 1 is 3, squared. So 3 is already positive, absolute value, you know, it just, if it was, if it was negative 3, it would just be 3. Um, so 4 minus 1 is 3. I'm just going to write 3 squared because it's already positive. Um, 5 minus 1 is 4. Absolute value of 4 is 4. 4 squared. Square root. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. Twenty five. Sorry. 9 plus 16 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5, so the distance from A to B equals 5. Hmm. That's exactly what we thought it was going to be from this. So now you see that basically what they're doing with this distance formula is manipulating the Pythagorean theorem so that you can just plug in the points from A and plug in the points from B and find the length of the legs of the right triangle in order to solve for the hypotenuse and get this distance right here, which is 5. So that's how that works.